we got Sarah Morris back here on the program. She's going to be fighting at UFC Ottawa against a new opponent. She's going to be taking on Macy Chasson on May 4th. Sarah, how are you this morning? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Not as good as you, though. I, I do follow you on Instagram, and I saw you guys uh, got to go out, uh, do a little bit of outdoor stuff over the weekend. How cool is that in Vegas? You know, year-round, you get great weather and get to go, uh, you know, outdoors as much as possible. Oh, I just love it here. I mean, it's going to get too hot soon, but... Uh... Yeah, it's really nice. We just hit up uh, Arizona Hot Springs on the weekend. It's just about 40 minutes from here, and it's beautiful. And I imagine it's a lot better than Harrison Hot Springs, which is what we have here in BC, right? I don't <laughs> know if you've ever been. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely been there. Um, yeah, much better. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, let's talk about the new opponent, uh, you know, Macy Chasson. You're supposed to fight Leah Letson. Uh, did you have to change much in preparation with the new opponent? Um, A bit. Uh, Leah Letson was a southpaw and Macy's not, so it's uh, a bit different, but you know, a fight to fight, and I haven't fought a southpaw before, so it's not like it's that big of a difference for me, so I'm excited. Yeah, and, and it's certainly a great uh, matchup on paper. Now, I know you train a little bit with Gina Mazzani, and she was the last person to fight Macy. Uh, did she give any tips, any insight, uh, perhaps, uh, for, for this matchup, because she did fight her? Um, yeah, we talked a bit, and then I also have, like, all the same training partners that she worked with that mimicked her style, so it's not like they're just coming into it. Like, my training partners are more experienced uh, fighting her style than than I am used to it, so it's it's nice to have those people that have already prepared a camp against my opponent. Yeah, does that make things easier just because they probably had, you know, mental notes at the very least? I don't think they wrote things down, but at least, you you, you know, you sort of, they're going through the motions the same way they did for Gina, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And me and Gina have the same coach. So, you know, he's watched countless footage of her and he's just watching it again uh, with me in mind this time. So it's it's really cool. It's, it's nice to have have them with me. Yeah, makes a big difference. Um, let's talk about the last fight quickly. I know things didn't go your way against uh, Tatalita Bernardo at UFC Fight Night 138. Uh, what did you learn the most from that fight that you can bring into this matchup? Um, you know, it was, it was a difficult fight, and I feel like I could have done better. I was coming off of an injury going into that fight. Um, so, and off a whole new camp, a new coach, new everything, new country. Um, so there was a lot of things I was going through. And now I'm, like, a lot more settled in. I... I've been with my coach almost a year now, so I feel like really comfortable here. I've been in shape. I didn't get injured after or in my fight or after my fight, so I've been healthy training this whole time. I've just been in getting in way better shape. Uh, I just feel so good now, so it's awesome. I just love all the improvements I've made in the off season when I didn't have a fight coming up, and then all the improvements I made with this fight camp. I just feel like like a way different fighter now. Well, and I think, too, we'll see, you know, the real version of you, because like you said, you didn't get that long to get, a, you know, sort of um, uh, not, not acclimatized. What's the word I'm looking for? Like a, a, to get comfortable uh, with your camp. So I think now uh, we're going to probably see, you know, the best version of you just because you have been there for a while now. And like you said, being more comfortable, training partners, coaches, everything else. Yeah. Yeah, it's just awesome. And I had I had gone through quite a bit of stuff with my last camp. So it was it was a bit traumatizing getting over it all and now I feel like I'm over it all whereas before some of it was still a bit lingering and I still had some stuff to figure out um, with myself mentally whereas now now I feel confident and mentally strong and I don't have the same weaknesses I had before so yeah I just have great people around me now and I just love it. Well, and a lot of Canadians are coming down. Uh, you know, Matthew Jelly, uh, who we saw in uh, Wheelie Zhang's corner uh, for her last fight. Um, you've got Jeremy Kennedy there now. Gary Mangett was there a little while back. So at least, uh, you know, there's some familiar faces. And, of course, uh, your fiancé as well, uh, Clee Bentley, is, as well, uh, too. I'm sure that makes things way easier, too. Yeah, even um, um, Shane Campbell was down here. Oh, that's right. And... Yeah, Shell and, and Kyle, Kyle Nelson, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's been pretty cool, uh, like, a lot more Canadians <laughs> than Americans, almost. It must be that cafeteria at the PI, I think, right? So that, that's probably a big, big, big reason why. Gotta love, gotta love that food. Uh, let's talk about Macy, though. Uh, we know what she brings to the table. Good stand-up. She's, you know, been, she was kind of counted out on, on the show, and, you know, she ended up winning it. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against her here? Um, you know, I think, I think she's a tough opponent. I think she's ranked now. She was ranked 14th, I believe, the last time I looked. So, you know, it's, I think it's a good step up in competition for me. Uh, compared to Leah, 
it's a much tougher opponent, but I think it will just, you know, make me move up the rankings faster and just get me to where I want to be quicker. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I know she's she's dangerous on the feet, um, and I know I'm dangerous on the ground, and I, I know my games come around a whole lot in every single area, so I'm really excited to see how it matches up and to put on a show because I don't think people are going to expect what they see from me. And, you know, like I mentioned, Macy surprised some people on the show with her lack of experience. And, you know, she ended up winning the show and, and had a really good uh, debut. Um, well, two fights, I should say, uh, in the UFC. Uh, do you feel like your experience will help you, though? Because you've been in the UFC for a while. Uh, you fought, you know, a lot of really tough uh, women in the division. Um, do you feel like that's going to play a role in this fight at all? Um, I, I think it very well could. I know I keep saying that and then I keep losing. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe not say that. But... <laughs> Yeah, so I know I have experience. I know she's got a lot of experience recently, though, which really helps her. Uh, I think she's fought five times in the last 11 months or so. So, you know, that that plays a big part on just being comfortable in there, whereas for me, I'm getting in after six months, and it's just like a long layoff every time. Um, but, you know, both have benefits, and, you know, I've been taken into the deep waters. I've been taken into rough spots and fights and I pulled through and you know like made it to the end at least made it to the decision so um she's gonna be in for a war I've been in wars and yeah she's gonna be in for a war okay um how's the cut going I know it's a lot easier now because you have the benefit of the PI there and it's you know probably keeping you on point with your diet and everything you don't have to really think about it as much yeah it's just awesome here um they just take care of me I just get my weight checked every week and they adjust my diet for me I don't really have to think about it and my weight's coming off well and I've put on on like a ton of muscle I'm, I'm in way better shape I'm way stronger and I'm lighter so it's it's perfect uh when are you actually flying to Ottawa because for those who don't know it actually is a bit of a, a bit of a trek uh, to get over there yeah, I think I fly out on Monday and then I get in like Tuesday. Yeah, because you, 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 well, you like, yeah, you kind of lose a day because of the time difference, right? It's three hours ahead. Yeah, I think we leave around noon and then we get there around midnight or something. So, uh, direct flight though, I take it, right? I don't, I don't think there are direct flights. I think we stop in Toronto and then oh, Ottawa. Oh, and then, and then go over there. Yeah, and then it's just a short flight. That makes sense. Um, have you, have you been to Ottawa before? I haven't, no. Okay, interesting. Yeah, not, nothing to write home about. I used, I used to live there. I went to university there, so it's... Uh, oh, nice. But compared to BC, I mean, come on. It's, you know, there's... there's, yeah. there's, there's you know. Anyways, we don't have to get into that. Um, How about your corner? Uh, who's going to be in the cage with you that night? Uh, it's going to be Dennis Davis again and Cleve. Yeah. Got to have the Cleve in there. Um, How do you see this fight playing out? Uh, submissions are your thing. Do you feel like you can't submit her in this fight? I feel like I can. I don't know if it will go that far. Um, you know, like my hands have gotten a lot better. My striking's gotten a lot better. Everything's gotten a lot better. Um, I'm prepared for the decision, but I'm hoping to finish it. Is there more pressure heading into this fight with the back-to-back -back losses, or do you just look at this like any other fight? Um, in a way, there's a bit more pressure, but at the same time, um, I don't have... I had some things going against me in my last couple fights, whereas now I don't have that, so... There's definitely like pressure, but it's different pressure. And I feel like like I'm capable, more than capable of winning this fight. So I'm excited. I've just improved so much in the gym since I've been here. Um, I'm doing like way better against the training partners that I've won against my last camp even. So I'm just seeing like loads of improvement and it's going to be the best me out there. Um, are you looking at UFC Vancouver next? They haven't announced a date, but it sounds like that's what they want to do. And if I'm not mistaken, you haven't fought in Vancouver for the UFC. No, I haven't. So yeah, that'd be so awesome. But uh, we'll see, see what happens. Last question before I let you go. Uh, what's the best part of being in Vegas besides all the, you know, the PI stuff? Uh, what, what do you enjoy the most about being down there? And, and do your cats like it now? They've finally been adjusted. Yeah, yeah, our cats have been adjusted. My cat's outside right now just waiting to get in. <laughs> I'll let her in in a little bit. They're really good. We got a new cat since I... Oh, like really? See you. Um, yeah, our one cat passed away, unfortunately. And, uh, so we rescued one from the shelter that, uh, had been there for her whole life. So it's kind of sad, but she's, she's adjusting and super cute and cuddly. And yeah, she's, 
she's awesome. Always nice to come home too. I know, I know yeah. that. Haven't having a cat myself. And uh, this is this is going to be a great fight. It's coming up here May fourth. It is UFC Ottawa. Uh, Sarah, always appreciate the time. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Yeah, um, you can find me on Instagram at the Sarah Cheesecake, I believe, and. I don't, I need to memorize my handle. I think it's just Sarah Cheesecake Cheesecake on uh, Twitter, yeah. On Twitter, yeah. Okay, yeah, follow me there. And I'd really like to thank Canna Hemp for sponsoring me. They've been super helpful, and I couldn't have done this all without them. This is their logo here. You can check them out at CannaHemp.com or CannaHempX.com. Check them out on Instagram. they got great CBD products. And it's really helped me get through this camp. They they help with focus, relief, anxiety, anxiety. creams that help they're they're just the best so i'm really lucky to have them and yeah 